Maple Systems thanks you for joining us. Make sure to have Easy Builder Pro version 6.08.02 or later. We've made significant improvements to the Tag Manager dialog box in the OPCUA client driver. Let's explore the changes. Add an OPC UA client device to the device list. Specify the IP address and port of the OPCUA server. Open Tag Manager and select the desired string data type. For this demo, we've chosen two char per word. To retrieve tags, click the Get Tag button and double click on a node to expand the node tree. Easy Builder Pro expands one layer with each double click, simplifying navigation through complex node trees. This feature is useful when dealing with folders containing numerous tags. Even if no nodes remain, you'll still see a plus icon for Tag 1. You can continue exploring nodes within Tag 1 until you reach the final layer. This same approach applies to other nodes, such as active cyclic job values type. By selecting Explore nodes, you expand one layer at a time. Alternatively, choosing Explore subtrees recursively explores all nodes. To add nodes, select Job Parts, Counter, and click Add Nodes. Importing nodes using this method won't affect previously imported nodes. The check state no longer impacts node import. To add all nodes below a parent node, check the parent and click Add Subtrees. All the imported nodes will have a green light, indicating successful import. Let's test the Node Device Health Diagnostic Alarm type once again. By choosing Explore Nodes, you can explore one layer at a time. On the other hand, selecting Explore Subtrees will recursively explore all nodes. Now, let's add subtrees to import items. You'll notice that some nodes have a red light. The red light indicates that these nodes' data types are not supported in Easy Builder Pro. Click OK to close the Tag Manager, and let's open it again. You'll find that all the tag information is stored in the project. To reduce project size, you can remove unused nodes. This ensures that only the used nodes are kept in the project. Let's add a toggle switch to the window to check the communication status. Now, let's run the online simulation. This concludes our demonstration of the new Tag Manager. Thank you for watching.